Shadow of the Tomb Raider is Lara Croft's most epic and dangerous adventure yet, but her journey is far from over. The team at Eidos Montreal are hard at work on an entire season of DLC that will let players jump back into the game in whole new ways. Join us as we explore the making of the co-op features in the DLC and find out how players can share the adventure. Lara Croft is often portrayed as a lone adventurer, but with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the developers wanted to create a much bigger co-op experience than ever before, with players able to work together in more tombs and more modes. This presents a whole new set of challenges for not just the players, but for the developers as well. Hello, I'm Vincent Poignier. I'm gameplay director on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are finishing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we are working on the DLC to give you more content, and part of the DLC is the cooperative gameplay. We are going to tell you all about it today. The real challenge was actually to build an environment that you can visit on your own and with someone, so you can actually do both. When it comes to multiplayer or co-op, you need to take in consideration the other player. It gets things more complicated, so you need to account for that in terms of the level art, level design, the VFX, the sound, so the other players always know what is going on. Tomb Raider is such a personal and emotional journey. At first, we were like very intimidated. It was really about how are we going to make this co-op experience compared to the single? We're game developers. We love challenges. We saw that uh, some of the designers with that added challenge, they started to thrive. Some of the designs that they come up with are super impressive. When people play, they're actually very surprised by how insane some of those designs are. We start to think about, okay, how can we improve the experience? How can it be beneficial for players to be together? So then we thought about timing, of course. Uh, you can do things at the same time. There's also space. You can be at two different spaces. We want players to have cooperation and to have choices. So we build the tombs around that and the co-op tombs around that. So by playing with another person, you'll be able to access other places in the level. So in terms of traversal, you'll benefit from having another player to help you gain access to these uh, places. It's something that's maybe not a very traditional way of thinking about multiplayer. It's not about, you know, shooting at stuff together or overcoming like enemies combat, but being smart together and coming back to the heart of what Tomb Raider is. Expanding the co-op doesn't just mean that players will have a lot more to do. It also means that they'll have more freedom to decide what they do and how they do it. What you can do is choose your role. You can pick your role not only at the beginning of the tomb, but in the middle. You have several situations and you can decide to be the one more active and helping out your friend and your friend has to rush super, super fast somewhere but so not to die. So you can always pick your role and go where you're more comfortable. Try to find a separate path. Like player one will solve the step one while player two works on the step number two so that it can advance faster. And there are also in the tombs specific paths that are only accessible in co-op that you cannot go if you both stay on the same path. So they should try to spread and explore the tomb as much as possible. And they, they will see that they'll find more secrets, more ways to beat the tombs faster. You can communicate, not only with the mic, but you can use the ping tool we have, which is a tool where you can actually ping things to tell the players, go there or do that. The other thing is the, the speed run. And the speed run is really cool, especially in co-op, because you have to be perfect in your move, in your timing, and both of you has to be. And it's about almost like reading your, your partner's mind and go as fast as you can. We're giving you those huge challenges to accomplish, and in co-op, it feels even more gratifying. Feeling smart together uh, is a great feeling. Yeah. Join us as we delve deeper into the DLC for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In the next chapter, we'll take a closer look behind the scenes and get to know the developers.